The Reno Transformer products easily transform your old two taps into a single flick mixer using your existing plumbing fixtures. No plumbing, drilling, or breaking down walls. Fix your leaks forever. Don't pay maintenance ever again. Modern makeover at an affordable price. Technology behind the wall. Normally, you turn the taps to control the water traveling through the in-wall pipes. But dual taps often cause problems such as leaking or dripping and not closing properly, requiring frequent maintenance. Sometimes, this can even lead to permanent damage that will need you to break down the wall to fix. Quas technology eliminates all such problems by bypassing the water away from the in-wall pipes. When you use the Reno Transformer, water is pulled out straight from the source and safely mixed inside an exposed mixer. Quas provides a permanent fix to all existing and future problems, without any complicated or expensive labor. First, make sure to turn off the main water supply. Remove your old shower by turning it anti-clockwise. Make sure to remove every part. Now, remove your old taps and make sure to remove any spindles, washers, extensions and adapters. Using a long nose plier, take out any remaining parts in the outlet. Make sure there's nothing in there by poking your finger inside. Something is still there if you feel any dents or change in the surface. If the distance between the surface of the wall and the internal pipe exceeds 20 millimeters, use a deeper extension. This is the crank connector. Pull out the washer inside and put it aside for the moment. Use the hex key to remove the inner cylinder by turning clockwise. This is the deeper extension. Using the hex key, extend the deeper extension until you see the third black line. Insert the washer from before into the deeper extension. Then put the deeper extension into the crank connector and screw clockwise. Attach the flange cover to both crank connectors. Apply plumbing tape onto the threads before installing. To install, screw the crank connectors into the hot and cold outlets. Ensure that the two arms are positioned appropriately to hold the mixer. It is okay to loosen the arms. This is the mixer. Insert the rubber washers into the mixer nuts. Screw the mixer nuts to the crank connectors on the wall. Then firmly tighten the nuts with a spanner. Using the hex key, tighten the inner cylinders by turning it clockwise. Turn until you reach the very end. Make sure it's firm, but don't over tighten it. This is the cover cap for the crank connector. Using a coin or a flathead screwdriver, fit the caps firmly over the holes.
turn on the main water supply and make sure no water comes out from the shower outlet. This is the upper rail bar bracket. Disassemble it, making sure to take out the cover cap, the brass cap and the bolt and put them aside for the moment. Slide the flange cover over the upper rail bar bracket. Screw the brass cap onto the shower outlet. Then firmly tighten it with a spanner. Slide the upper bracket onto the rail bar. Then insert the bolt into the bracket. Peel off the sticky tape from the lower bracket. Insert the upper bracket onto the shower outlet and screw the bolt to tighten. Place the cover cap onto the bracket. Press the lower bracket onto the wall and apply silicon around it. Slide the flange cover towards the wall. As it takes a day for the silicon to harden, be careful not to move it around. Install the flexible hose, making sure that the nut side of the hose fits onto the mixer. Firmly tighten with a spanner. Connect the other side of the hose to the handheld shower and tighten by hand. Place the shower head onto the holder. Then adjust to your preferred height and angle. When you're happy with the placement, tighten the knob to finish the installation. The freestyle shower head has five different spray patterns and can easily be changed using the shower plate.